Chapter 2 Fundamentals of Partnership Firm Basic Concepts 1932 is the separate act expressly for partnership firm and uh, it's the overview of this lesson all the topics we can discuss you know 1932 is the separate act for partnership firm and uh, partnership accounting system that you know they will prepare trading account profit and loss account profit and loss appropriation account and balance sheet and specially for partners they will prepare partners capital account that may be in the form of fixed or fluctuating okay and uh, special features of partnership firm you know minimum number of members in a partnership firm is two maximum if it is banking business 10 other business 20 as per 1932 and uh, 2013 act says about partnership maximum number of members in a partnership is 100 and 2014 14 amendment says it is 50 maximum number of members in the partnership firm is 50 and you know agreement agreement may be in the form of oral or written if it is in the form of written it is very fair for the business uh, because in the future if any uh, misconduct if any problems comes in the business we can uh, easily rectify with the help of that agreement liabilities of uh, partnership firm partnership firm is very dangerous from a business organization to compare with other businesses why it is very dangerous by chance if firm couldn't pay its liability the partner has to pay even partner have to be ready to sell his personal asset to settle firm's debts so in this point of view it is very dangerous from a business and you know partnership deed deed what is the meaning of deed it must be in written format and deed says many items like name means uh, situation variety situation and uh, objectives what is the objectives of the business and profit and loss sharing and interest on capital and interest on drawings interest on partners loan so everything should be mentioned in deed so many items are there and you can refer that T.S. Grewal's book provisions what are the provisions profit sharing ratio first one so as i told you already profit sharing ratio if it is mentioned in deed 2 is to 3 is to 4 1 is to 2 is to 3 likewise it will be split and given to the partners as per the deed agreed ratio profit and loss sharing ratio whether it is oral or written isn't it but they haven't mentioned anything in that sense irrespective of their capital contribution that profit amount will be split and given to the partners equally if loss also suffers in the business that also will be distributed to all the partners equally irrespective of their capital contribution if deed is silent about profit and loss sharing ratio and interest on capital interest on capital um, if deed is silent about interest on capital interest and capital will not be provided isn't it so if deed is accepted 6 percentage 5 percentage 10 percentage 20 percentage whatever it is so as per that that interest on uh, capital will be provided to the partners it may be additional capital or beginning capital whatever the capital it is and uh, interest on drawings interest on drawings you know the meaning of interest on drawings partners withdraw some money so firm is charging some interest on the drawn money in this sense partner has to pay that interest money on his drawing sum to the firm so interest on drawings is benefited to the firm and partner is responsible to pay if deed is silent about interest on drawings no interest will be charged on that partner's drawings if deed is accepted that many percentages so percentage wise they have to pay and uh, some rules and regulations also there you know beginning of each month mid of each month and end of each month by chance if a partner is withdrawing the amount in the beginning of every month a partner is withdrawing the money from the firm in the mid of every month if partners are withdrawing the money in end of every month or beginning of every quarter or end of every quarter by chance not beginning not mid not end 
but irrespective of the partner is withdrawing some money so in that sense so likewise they have split it let's see one by one beginning of every month which means 13 by 2 6.5 so we will be calculating for that six and a half months and the end of each month end of each month means 5.5 and uh, mid of every month mid of every month 6 and beginning of each quarter will be 7.5 and the end of each quarter 4.5 and i i told you already that irrespective of that periods so periods is not in mind whenever he want he is withdrawing money but date is not mentioned in that sense 6 will be calculated for 6 months we will calculate isn't it so very careful to prepare that interest on drawings beginning mid and end of every month and beginning of each quarter end of each quarter by chance if uh, did is silent about interest on drawings they won't provide any interest on drawings which means uh, that a partner will not give any interest on drawings amount to the firm and um, if they did not mention any period beginning mid and end um then the dates also they did not give means what we have to do we have to prepare for 6 month i hope you understand and interest on advances this advance money 6 percentage right partner is advancing some money apart from his capital to the firm's business in that sense partner is entitled to get 6 percentage per annum so firm is encouraging the partner to give advance money to the firm right and uh, you know next one is remuneration it's like salary commission these all are remunerations if firm did is silent about remuneration no remuneration will be provided no salary no commission will be provided if did is accepted for particular partner for all the partners remuneration or commission will be provided as per agreed amount not in percentages right that may be 5 5000 uh, per month or 10000 per month whatever it is special aspects of partnership firm partners capital account maintenance and uh, profit and loss appropriation account and adjustment of wrong appropriation which means past adjustments and dissolution of partnership firm these all are special aspects of partnership accounts let's see one by one maintenance of partners capital account so how many kinds of capital account two one is fixed capital account and another one is fluctuating capital account fixed capital account partners capital account and current account will be prepared so partners capital account deals only their capital contribution to the business and if any permanent withdrawal that will be considered and partners current account deals all the adjustments so all the adjustments will be done through partners current account when the firm is preparing fixed capital account and other sense if a uh, firm is preparing fluctuating capital account that all the entries whether they are capital contribution beginning capital or additional capital and any drawing some amount and uh, interest on drawings uh, salary and other remunerations interest on capital and everything will be dealt in one separate account that is partners fluctuating capital account so already we have dealt many problems in it i hope you understand and the difference between that fixed and fluctuating capital account it is very important we are asking uh, at least one more question from this every year you can see in the uh, final exam question pattern and paper also definitely one mark will come from this distribution which means distinctions between fixed and fluctuating capital account number of accounts if it is fixed capital account how many accounts will be prepared two accounts if it is fluctuating capital account only one account will be prepared and adjustments all the adjustments will be entered in current account in fixed capital account method and all the uh, items will be recorded in partners capital account fluctuating capital method and balances wise fixed capital account we are preparing two account right in fixed capital method we are preparing two accounts one is fixed partners capital account that is remain fixed it never change because we are entering the partners capital money 
how much he brought into the form in the beginning and uh, how much he brought into the form and the mid uh, additional capital amount also will be recorded and apart from that permanent withdrawal will be recorded so apart, apart from this nothing going to record in partners capital account fixed capital account so uh, it will be remain fixed and uh, it will not change right and it shows only credit balances also but in fluctuating capital method everything will be entered in one single account the balances of capital account fluctuate from year to year and uh, sometimes it shows debit balances also so these are the differences of partners fluctuating and fixed capital account some problems also we have discussed uh, you can refer our previous videos distribution of profit you know profit and loss appropriation account you have into uh, you don't have any idea about it profit and loss appropriation account ever before and profit and loss appropriation account will be prepared after prepared profit and loss account but you have knowledge about trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet but here it is a partnership firm here that net profit or net loss will be distributed to the partners as per their profit and loss sharing ratio isn't it if deed is accepted what we will do we will give remuneration to the partners or interest on drawings will be charged to the partners and interest on capital will be given to the partners so these kind of adjustments will be done through profit and loss appropriation account specially we will prepare after prepared profit and loss account profit and loss appropriation account will be prepared only for the purpose of appropriating profit to the partners appropriating loss to the partners and all the journal entries you will know about it and uh, uh, format also you see in the debit side of profit and loss appropriation account that profit net profit or net loss you know so net loss will be recorded in the debit side of profit and loss account net loss will be recorded and interest on capital salary to the partners commission to the partners interest on partners loan so everything will be recorded and you see the credit side of credit side of profit and loss appropriation account that net profit will be recorded and uh, interest on drawings you know interest on drawings will be recorded and apart from that nothing going to record if any loss that loss will be distributed to the partners so this is the format and you see all the journal entries very important and uh, often they are asking one question for four mark or uh, five mark based questions uh, from this uh, profit and loss appropriation account and uh, journal entries are very important and next one is calculation of interest on capital you know interest on capital beginning capital additional capital and whatever the capital it is if deed is accepted we will give interest on capital if deed is silent we won't give interest on capital to the partners and that too for how many months by chance if partner is bringing some money as additional money into the firm additional capital into the firm uh, on uh, february february but you know that uh, accounting year will be begins with april 1 to 31st march but partner bring 5000 rupees as an additional capital into the firm first february so in this sense how we will provide interest on capital to that additional money also additional money alone 5000 into february and march 31st year end right so by chance if it is 10 percentage 5000 he brought into the firm into 10 by 100 into how many months two months only na so 2 by 12 so likewise we will calculate so you know already we have prepared many problems um, we dealt many problems so you refer that and next interest on drawings this also we have discussed beginning mid and end each quarter wise also have discussed next heading is guarantee of a profit to a partner so here one partner can give guarantee or except new partner all other partners entire firm can give guarantee to a new partner so why they have to give guarantee to the new partner because they need money who need money firm need money capitals to run the business successfully or to start and expand the business or diversify the business so in that sense they are approaching a person 
um, can you become a new partner into the firm we are ready to give this many percentage of profit to you or this many amounts which means 50000 we are ready to give as a guarantee profit whether business suffer losses or profit right i hope you understand if business even business suffer losses we are ready to give 50000 rupees as a profit money to you so we are ready to bear some uh, consequences but we will give that profit money to you like this guaranteed profit so they are guaranteeing that existing partner is guaranteeing to the new partner so new partner will be very happy in it and uh, without any hesitation he will invest his money into the business so in this sense that new money comes into the business and we can diversify and we can use for our business expansion by chance business uh, got profit we can give profit as per the profit and loss upra uh, profit and loss uh, sharing ratio which is mentioned in partnership deed and uh, by chance if any loss happens the loss would be bared by existing partners and uh, that guaranteed profit will be given by them that guarantee profit will be given by one partner if one partner alone give guarantee to the new partner that one single partner only have to bear that consequences and if all the partners except the new partner all the partners are ready to contribute are ready to give guarantee to the new partner so they will split and split that losses and uh, they will face that everything and you know a very important heading is past adjustments very 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 important uh, continuously they are asking from this heading at least one question and uh, that also they are asking in four mark or six mark based questions previous year they asked for four marks and before two years six mark questions also came which is depends the past adjustments very very important you pay attention in it and uh, we are having separate video for this past adjustments and you give most preferences only for ts girivals book practice all the problems what is the meaning of past adjustment some mistake occurred in the past they are going to adjust it without disturbing that balance sheet and profit and loss account isn't it so whose account is extra credited and whose account is debited so that will be adjusted over here for example a b c are partners in a firm profit money is 15000 their profit and loss sharing ratio is 1 is to 1 is to 1 so a got profit money rupees 2000 and b received 5000 and c received 8000 rupees so in this sense as per that profit and loss sharing ratio that 15000 will be distributed to the partners equally because one is to one is to one so all the partners would get 55000 5000 rupees but here a got only 2000 rupees but c got 8000 rupees so c account will be debited 3000 rupees and a account will be credited 3000 rupees that is the past adjustment very easy to one and especially uh, we have a video and we dealt with the problems and you can refer that video to know more information about past adjustment and final accounts for partnership firm so many students are not focusing about final accounts of partnership firm trading and profit and loss account for the year ended you know trading account profit and loss account will be prepared and after that profit and loss appropriation account also will be prepared and partners capital account will be prepared by chance if it is mentioned fixed capital account two accounts will be prepared partners capital account and current account if they have mentioned only fluctuating capital account or if they haven't mentioned any uh, partners capital account we have prepared uh, partners fluctuating capital account and after that balance sheet will be prepared so this is the complete accounting system for partners capital account trading account profit and loss account profit and loss appropriation account partners capital account and balance sheet so these five accounts will be prepared and you know reconstitution of partnership firm next three lessons will come admission of a new partner and retirement of a partner and the death of a partner even dissolution of partnership firm 
here we will deal different different accounts depends upon different different situations isn't it so uh, you go through it and you practice more problems and especially all numerical problems i am expecting you when school reopens that day i wanted to see in your note you must have prepared the numerical problem which is appeared in ncert book ncert book is available in internet i already sent you in whatsapp group that chapter wise and uh, ts girivals book also i sent you that second chapter fundamentals of partnership form you refer that also i am expecting you to do lot in accountancy let's see thank you